So this past week, I had a really rough time. I'm sure you know the feeling. It was one of those weeks where it seemed like everything was going wrong for me. Problems kept popping up at work, people were nagging at me, and I was both physically and mentally exhausted from all of it. In times like these, it's really easy to get discouraged, which can sort of create a domino effect where that discouragement turns into despair, and that despair can make you lose motivation, maybe even turn into depression. So yeah, I was feeling pretty frustrated with everything, but then I remembered the words to Psalm 121, and it ended up being the perfect thing I needed to turn things around, which reads this, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. It's easy to overlook just how valuable this simple statement is. My help comes from the Lord. What exactly does the Bible mean by help? Well, the Hebrew word for help here is azer, which is the same word used in Genesis 2.18 when God created Eve for Adam to be his azer, or helper, as she's often described in many translations. But in actuality, this Hebrew word has been used in many different ways. Some say that azer can mean helper, rescuer, ally, and even life giver. In fact, some have even used Azer to refer to a hero. But the truth is, the word Azer sort of represents all of these things. So when we read this part of the psalm, we can ask all of these things in verse 1. During those times when you feel like you want to give up, or you're in pain, or you feel defeated, ask yourself, where does your help come from? Who is your ally? Who is your rescuer, your life giver? Who is your hero? The answer to these questions is clear. Your help, your Azer, comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. Your help comes from God, the great rescuer, your ally, the great life giver, the great hero. Reading on in verse three can give us even more comfort when the psalmist says that God will never slumber nor sleep. This is important to remember because you don't have to worry about God's availability. He's not gonna leave you stranded or get tired of watching over you. No, God will watch over your life both now and forevermore, and nothing can separate you from his love. This isn't just an Old Testament idea. We also read this same type of thing in Romans 8, 38 through 39, which gives us just as much comfort as Psalm 121, where the Apostle Paul says this, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing will separate you from the love of God. Not the problems you have at work or school, not the mean people you have to deal with every day, and not even the exhaustion and depression you may be experiencing right now. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. And if nothing can separate you from God's love, then that means that He is there for you right now. Your help, your ally, your rescuer, and your life giver, your hero, is available to you right now. So if you're stuck in a rut right now and are going through some really tough times, or maybe you've just had a really bad day, just ask yourself this question and answer it with confidence and in faith. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Amen.